what's that, the, the vegetarian the, omelet? Yeah, veggie omelet is like the worst MRE. I'm pretty sure they've removed that from the rotation. I think they did, actually. I think they took it out. I think they added a pizza on MRE as well. I heard about that. It cannot be good. <laughs> it just it can't be. Well, you got to consider the fact that the hamburger MRE is one compressed piece of meat with grill marks painted on it. Yeah. Sandwiched in between two wheat snack bread, which is just... Oh, uh, yeah. We, and we, I think we've discussed this before. Wheat snack bread is literally the definition of hardtack. It's like a little bit softer than hardtack. Yeah. But... Yeah, that's a hamburger, according to military standards. Yeah, it's it's real bad. What was your favorite MRE back in the day? Um, I think my favorite one was the ravioli. That one wasn't too bad, if I remember correctly. Yeah, like the be- uh, the cheese ravioli was really good, and so was like the beef ravioli. I honestly didn't mind the chicken breast. Chicken, that one isn't bad either. Yeah, the chicken breast wasn't bad. And honestly, I I was able to stomach the hamburger MRE. It was not one of the worst ones. Yeah, I mean, if you just kind of like chopped up the hamburger into a little... Actually, what I usually did with the hamburger MRE was I took the wheat snack bread and I would break it into little crumbs. And I would take the um, the hamburger and break it into little pieces and just kind of mush it all up together and then steal the gravy from somebody else's <laughs> and put the gravy in there with it. So I would just kind of have like hamburger and gravy... I honestly did not mind the wheat snack bread. That was not too terrible. I thought the wheat snack bread was just the worst. Did you? I hated it. it when people were eating the MRE, we had a we had a big old box, and everything you didn't want from your MRE, you just threw in the box, and people could just take from the box, and people were always throwing in their wheat snack bread, and I was always taking it out and eating it. Hmm. I mean, I guess that that's definitely an option. What was your favorite component of the MREs? Uh, peanut butter. Peanut butter was not bad. No, it wasn't, honestly, for like... Crappy government peanut butter, it was not bad. I didn't mind the um, chocolate. Oh, I didn't like the chocolate peanut butter, but the regular peanut butter was really tasty. One of the things I really liked to do was I would take the peanut butter with chocolate peanut butter. You never got the chocolate peanut no, butter? No, I never got chocolate peanut butter. What the hell are you talking about? There's chocolate peanut butter in Oh MREs. my god, I didn't know that. Um, one of the things that I always like to do is I took the peanut butter and I uh, would find the peanuts that somebody didn't want. Wait, the peanuts? The- yeah, like a pack of peanuts. And uh, I would just I would just squirt the peanut butter into the pack of peanuts and make crunchy peanut butter. You talking about peanuts in an MRE? Yeah. I think you and I ate MREs from different years because I never found a peanut package. Um yeah, did you ever get the were there the charms candy in your MREs? Yeah. Oh man, the charms are cursed. The Don't un- eat those. The unlucky charms. Don't eat those charms. Nope. Never eat them. If you're in the military, do not and you get an MRE and there's charms in it, don't eat them because it will rain. They've taken them out. Oh, they took them they out? They took out the charms because people keep propagating that negative propaganda, Zach. So what? Leave them in there. I was always disappointed when I got charms because that meant that I didn't get something good. Like, <laughs> yeah. like uh, chocolate disc cookies. Those were pretty good. Yes. The Oh, I love the I loved the pound cake. Oh, the lemon pound cake was the, the best. The lemon pound cake was great. The spiced pound cake was great. Not bad, yeah. The carrot um, pound cake was not It was good. okay. It was okay, but there was carrots in it, which sucked. Oh, I like carrots. I like carrots too, but not in my cake. They were just, they just made it gummy. <laughs> hey, speaking of MREs. Ooh, it's a Canadian MRE, which are very good. I have, had one. What what did you have in the Canadian MRE? Uh, like some kind of beef stew. Ooh. The beef stew MRE is not bad. It's not terrible. Have you ever had the jalapeno cheese? Oh, I hate that. I oh, it's so bad. Did not care. Do you not like the taste or the spiciness of it? I don't like either. Do it like- tastes like boiled shoe leather with some fake milk put into it. <laughs> Did you like the regular cheese? No, I didn't like either of them. The regular cheese wasn't that bad. They're both gross. Did you ever, um, were you ever able to get the crackers out of the package without breaking them? <laughs> no. Nobody's able to do that. There is not a single person that can actually successfully do that. The crackers are just air sealed inside this very thick packaging. You try and open it up, and it's all yeah. Crumbling. Imagine, imagine somebody somehow figured out how to take like three Pringles crackers, compress them together without breaking them, and then put them into a package. And now you have to try and open the package without breaking those Pringles. So you didn't like the taste of the jalapeno cheese? No. What about the jalapeno ketchup? No. <laughs> no. I don't like anything with jalapenos in it. No, me neither. So the jalapeno cheese, you've never consumed that? Obviously, I've tried it, but I hated it. So if you have the option, you just didn't eat it? Yeah, I just wouldn't eat it. I would, well, because other people love jalapeno cheese, so I would always trade it for peanut butter. So going back to my crucible story. 
Do you know what the Crucible is? Yes, it's your FTX. Is that like the Army's Crucible? Uh, field training <laughs> exercise. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. It's well, yeah. that's not. It's not the same thing. Uh, cue a bunch of Marines start screaming at me. <laughs> yeah. um, they're very sensitive about that. Yes. Yeah, about how brutal the Crucible is. Yeah, when I went through the Crucible, we had three MREs to last the entire week, and that's okay. An MRE has what? 3,000 calories in a single... Yeah, it's a lot, yeah. So you can make it last. And we were instructed to make it last by eating little bits here and little bits there. Don't eat the entire thing in, as a meal or anything. Yeah, just eat them like little bits at a time. So that's what I was going to do. I was going to eat components of my MRE as I was walking around because while we're doing the Crucible, we're doing a lot of hiking. Yeah. It's all you do during the Crucible. It's just all rock marching. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I was walking around and I thought, I'll have this jalapeno ketchup packet. Oh, God. And that'll sustain me for an hour or two. And I ate it, and I immediately regretted it because it was just burning my tongue. And I ate an entire chicken breast MRE to try and get the taste out of my oh, mouth. Oh, Lord. It was so foul. Oh, Lord. It yeah, sucked. condiments don't make a good meal, especially <laughs> not when they're jalapeno flavored. Oh, God. Yes. 